black is not any material down. Black is objectively completely lost. And he's not looking very happy at the moment. Yeah, Gary's going for some uh, very uh, sharp attack there. He's hoping to bring his queen out to h5, giving a check. And there are some uh, very uh, sneaky little variations here. Um, there are various mating themes. So, um, uh, in fact, Black has to be very careful not to get mated uh, with his his king on the side of the board in, in short order. Stephen van den Buscher, uh, yeah, he's playing some very loose, weakening moves there and uh, is in some difficulties. Yeah, I think Sam uh, has dropped, dropped some material there. And um, yeah, it looks like it's going down fairly quickly. Oh, here is this. Oh, he's on to Jan Kalovart there. About the waiver. P Peter Reichert from Digipoint. Catherine DeVos has dropped a piece. Unfortunately, the and, uh, and it's just been captured. Okay, back into action. So that's uh, Wim Wilson's there, Chris Lankreet. Actually has a um, fairly decent position, as far as I can tell. This on the other hand, is uh, very, very unpleasant indeed. That bishop on e6 is a monster, and mate is coming very quickly. Oh. Perhaps even next move, who, who knows? Could well be mate next move. Actually, black can avoid mate, but uh, this could be the first game to finish. Pausing there against our Flemish president. This is uh, Torn.
Coppens from Netlog. And here we've moved on to another position. Um, fortunately, you just count the pieces and you can tell what's going on there. Just uh, one uh, extra piece for Kasparov. And that's about it. There are no mitigating circumstances. Down to the kids. The kids in the corner. With their nice green t-shirts on. Yes, uh, that was a very necessary move by Leonard. Leonard's uh, sort of uh, covering some of the uh, key points because uh, actually is in danger of uh, just getting completely crushed. And Gary's exchanging. And he has a very substantial advantage here, probably. Even winning. This is Joris Heine. And yeah. Not too much to be said here. Yeah, Kasparov is just uh, using his technical skills here. Not that he needs too much. Um, he's um, got an extra piece against Katrin Devos. This is almost a, a decent position for Black. Not not quite. And ah yes, Jeroen Fosset has just avoided checkmate. So congratulations. Uh, staved, it, staved it off for um, a minute or two. But with a completely hopeless position, I'm sure mate will come very soon. Mark Dillon. And, um, yeah, well, actually, uh, Black has not played too badly here, but unfortunately dropped a pawn in the opening, and that's that's quite serious. And um, I doubt whether he's going to recover from such a serious loss. And uh, the, the, the king is weak as well. That's another problem. The king is caught in the center of the board. Normally, it's a good idea uh, to castle in chess. I would say eight eight times out of ten, it's it's a good idea to castle early. Gary's starting to increase his advantage here. I don't honestly see that uh, we're going to have too much fight here. I would like to think it otherwise. You know, I'm in favor of the, the bull winning sometimes, but um, I think the uh, the matador is having it all, all his own way here. And uh, just a hopeless material inferiority there. Black has dropped way too many pieces. As a consequence of this very rash advance in the opening. 